Good day, everyone. Splash, you're having a great day. I am your resident Instagram painter, and I have something really exciting to show you today. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. We are talking about the Painter's Tool Bag. Um, new product out this year from Sherwin-Williams. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of cool features about this. I have not yet opened this up. I wanted to save it and do an actual open video on it. So let me go ahead and open this up. And we will just put this together and show you what the uh, painter's tool bag is all about. <clears throat> so first thing I notice is the durability. One, it feels, it, it's not heavy, but you can tell that it's made a good quality um, product. And it is actually something that we have to put together. And there are instructions with this. Do we follow these instructions? Yeah, we do. <laughs> so... Um, Let's look at this. There's a barrier in the middle, and I think this is the barrier that they are talking about. But I am going to, we're, we're gonna learn with this together. So as it's disassembled, you can tell pretty big piece, good canvas. And I can tell you already that I know that this needs to zip right here on both sides. So we will, Start with that first. And I actually like this uh, concept that you can take this apart and work. Now let's get you a, a vision of the middle of this so you can see. It's almost like a, a crate if you've ever had a cat or a dog, a small one. Um, You wanna make sure you're laying this right in the middle and you'll be able to adjust this as you go. And where is the rest of this? Ah, here we go. So bring this other flap up. There's also a Velcro piece right here as well, which is nice um, that they have that there. Let's adjust this just a little bit because I can tell right now that I'm not gonna like where that's sitting on there. And voila, there we go. And they've done a really good job. There's actually a line in the middle of the Velcro so you can see where that needs to zip from. And I think the way this seems like it's moving is this is actually just one big zipper, which would be really awesome if the designers did it that way. So we're gonna have multiple, multiple zippers on there to show. I'm not gonna do a video, I'm not gonna load this on this video, but I wanna show you this being put together, give you the, the base of what it is. Voila, there we go. So this is the bag completely zipped up, takes you less than 30 seconds once you get it. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. So first thing I notice on here is um, <clears throat> we have some hooks on here and I imagine you can put anything you want on here, your cut buckets, kind of the picture shows that. So that's kind of a great feature you have on here. Now, as painters, the, we have multiple things that we're always gonna carry in our bags. So as we're opening this and going through this, think about the things, and I'll just name a few. Obviously, you're gonna have a paintbrush, you're gonna have your rollers in it, spray tips, um, your poles, if you're, spray, if you're rolling a wall out, and I mean, just the, there's our carrying bag. So just to give you, um, you know, to, to look at this, some pretty cool features. So let's, let's go ahead and turn this around and we can see. So you have these little slits. These are where your paint brushes would go. Maybe your putty knife, your two edge knife right here. In this bag, you actually still have the same little, um, kind of like a, a, a belt an adjustable belt that has a little bit of tension on it. So it's gonna hold the product very well. Maybe my spray tips will go in there. You have your side buckets right here as well. Very deep pockets. So maybe your hammer, screwdrivers, even a drill. Um, you only have that on one side. You have a Velcro piece in here as well. So if you have rollers or something you wanna keep together, that's a nice feature they have. And then, um, USO Velcro right here. Again, if you want to stick your your uh, your collapsible pole in there, I'm sure that that's going to carry that as well. 
Same thing right here, you have a little sleeve, you can slide that in there. Let's open up the other side. So this is kind of a wet, uh, like a wet pack, a camera if you wanted something to have a little bit of, so maybe your spray tips when you're done with that on this side, I think this would be a good spot for your spray tips. Same thing as the last, you have those elastic right there to put in. You have bigger pouches as well. Um, side pockets right here on this side. So your hammers, same thing, roll this up place for your business card or whatever kind of card you have so you know and then you have the uh the handle on here your little strap depending on how you're going to carry it i like the briefcase look myself um more of a more of a thing for me that i like on there you have a spot for a water bottle which is nice Maybe a little fork and spoon, some food. I don't know, I'm always thinking about food. Those that know me. But really good, overall, I like it. You have the side packet right here as well. Very deep pockets, your tape, quick access to tape, that's really important. Um, obviously, I can sit and tell you how to load this, but each painter has their own unique things and tools that they take. Could be 20 paintbrushes, could be one paintbrush. But at the end of the day, this is very durable. You can tell here you have a good solid base to hold on. It's not gonna push in. So anything you put in there is gonna stay one dry as long as it's not sitting in water. Two, um, durable on there. You have, like I said, we attached it. You have the shoulder case on there. So if you don't wanna carry like a briefcase, you have this really nifty shoulder in there. Business meetings, if you're the one doing bids, maybe you can go in, carry this around, have your laptop in if you wanted to. I mean, you have a whole list of things. Now, if we look at the paperwork, um, you know, they show the tip wood. They have their paintbrushes in there, your putty knives, your caulk. So many different variations, ways to do it. I, I'm pretty sure if you were really good at rolling, you could maybe put a drop cloth in here, a, a, maybe a four by 12 drop cloth. But I like this product. It's good. Um, Sherman Williams, you guys did yourself good. Uh, Handy Pro makes these. So, there you go. There's our quick video of the open box of the painter's tool bag. I like them so much before I even open it because I had not demoed one. I picked up an extra and we're going to be giving this away. So you got to jump over to Splash Painting on Instagram, Splash underscore painting. Find me there and I'll tell you how we're going to give this away. Stay tuned until next time.